Courtney and I are here at Tusker House in the Harambe section of Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is an all you care to enjoy buffet style meal and we are gonna hit this hard. We're gonna try to show you as many of the different options to eat as possible. We are so excited. We've been waiting to do this for a while. Starting out on the food here at Tusker House. Already had some great character interactions, and we've been told the characters will probably come by a couple times while we're here, so we might see a little bit more. But I had the quinoa salad, which was really good. It's one of those light, refreshing um, salads that you can get here. It is vegan. Now I'm trying the Kuchumbari, and this has some cucumber in it, onions, tomatoes, um, I don't know, maybe some artichokes, I can't tell, but it's definitely got a lot and then a special sauce on it. Mm. Okay. I would do the kuchumbari over the quinoa salad, because the quinoa salad is something I think you get a lot, but this is really, really fresh, and man, this tastes good. This reminds me of just like a backyard picnic. <laughs> now I want to move over to some stuff that's a little heftier here, <laughs> because I got the macaroni and cheese and the mashed potatoes. I am so excited about these. And we definitely have the skin cooked in with these potatoes. Oh. Yeah, this is um this is a very strong potato flavor. It's not like some where they make them really, really overly creamy. These are chunky, so you're getting the potato flavor and it's not just like a dairy thing. Mm. Now I want to move over to the macaroni and cheese. And I think this mac and cheese has a very thick cheese to it. This is going to be a heavy item, so you might want to sort of balance out how much you pour for yourself on that first offering. Oh wow, that is rich. 
That is very rich. I think we have Mr. Mickey Mouse is going to be walking by behind us. We still haven't seen Mickey yet, so hopefully he'll be by in a few minutes. This is really, really good mac and cheese. We're going to keep working through our items here at Tusker House. Obviously, Courtney got a lot of stuff with meat in it. So we're going to hear from her about what she thinks about those things as well. There are a couple other items I want to mention very, very quickly. The house-made hummus. That is really good. It almost reminds me of like tuna fish for a tuna fish sandwich, except for without the fish. Um, it was very thick and hearty for a hummus. Then there was the mango chutney, which I really, really liked. I just had the regular pita style bread. I really, really liked it. Courtney was not necessarily a fan. She thought there were too many peppers and onions in it to be with a fruit, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was great. I'm gonna finish more of that. And Courtney had grabbed me a little bit of a black-eyed pea salad, if you will, that I wasn't necessarily looking forward to it because I don't really like black-eyed peas very much, but the way they seasoned that was phenomenal. So I have really liked basically everything I have had so far. I think that the macaroni and cheese is probably the highlight right now, but I don't think I can have any more. It was really, really heavy. So on my second trip, I got this Jollof rice which has a plant-based, I believe it's impossible, sausage that is mixed in with the rice. And I did have to actually get a couple spoonfuls before I got any of the sausage on it. But now I think I have a decent amount of sausage and I got the rice so I can try a real balanced uh, forkful here. Okay, Courtney said that she was like expecting maybe something a little spicier, more like a Spanish rice or... It's good, but it's definitely dull. It is not spicy or really overly flavored at all. <laughs> um, yeah, this is interesting. Not what I was expecting. I think it's okay though. I'm certainly gonna finish it and give it a good try. I also wanted to try, I was told this was really good, the bunny chow, which has some cauliflower in it, onions, peppers. Trying to get, once again, another balanced fork full with a lot of different items in the same bite here. Oh, wow. I understand why people like that. Mm -hmm. The bunny chow is really, really good. I'm gonna try the red skin potatoes now. Mm. I'm gonna step out on a limb and say the red skin potatoes. My favorite thing thus far. And that's including the mac and cheese and the mashed potatoes. So, wow. Mm. 
And now I got these vegetable roots. I'm gonna give these a try as well. Um, they're okay, but compared to the other two items, I just say they're okay. We'll stop with that. <laughs> But there's still a bunch that I'm excited to try. I'm a little worried about getting everything that I do want in this trip, but we'll see. I am extremely surprised with how much I like Tusker House. I thought I would kind of like it, but I have loved almost every item I've had, and the ones that are just okay are still good. So. Yeah, pleasantly surprised. some of our final thoughts on Tusker House. Courtney got the tandoori chicken and the salmon. I am a vegetarian as most of you know by now. So I would say that this is a really great option when it comes to all you care to enjoy for vegetarians. It definitely has the highest percentage of vegetarian and vegan options for all of these all you care to enjoy buffet style restaurants at Walt Disney World but Courtney did really enjoy that tandoori chicken and the salmon as well so they did have some of those options here Lori our server was amazing absolutely incredible and the character interactions, I want to say, they were really good. The character interactions were fun. They would not only have each of the individual characters, Goofy, Mickey, Donald, and Daisy, come to your table, but then there was that little parade where they would dance in the middle of the restaurant. So maybe if you don't feel comfortable you know, maybe you're like Courtney and myself and you are a table of adults 
and you don't know exactly what to say to the characters, you still get to see them dancing around and doing that, and then you can just get selfies when they come to your table, and it's really fun. Courtney said, I don't know if I agree with her, but she said this is possibly her favorite buffet-style restaurant at Walt Disney World. I think I'm gonna have to go to Boma again before I would be able to make that decision, but they are both pretty good. The food here is definitely unique though. So thank you for joining us for this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.